Shalom. Before I start, I want to give all honors and glories and praises to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Yahweh Kakodash, Yahweh, which is the one true name of the Heavenly Father, Yahweh Shai, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ, but his one true name is Yahweh Shai. Double honor to the elders and the apostles, a great millstone, who will well and teach well, because those are the men who I learned this truth from through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim Shai. Peace, blessings, salutations to the whole for the elect, and shalom to you, sincere brothers scattered abroad, pushing forth this word in truth and sincerity. I am the brother Mashiach Arazaka from the servants of Yahweh Y, Yahweh Shai Camp, Las Vegas, Nevada branch. And pretty much in this lesson, it's going to be titled as Isaiah 53 Breakdown. And uh, we're going to break down from verse 1 all the way down to 7. And then I'll do another part because I'm going to be adding a lot of precepts to this. So, Lord willing, this is edifying. I don't want to have it too long because Jake have a short attention span. So, Lord willing, this is edifying. This is Isaiah 53 and 1. It says, Who have believed our report? It says, Into whom is the arm of the Lord revealed? So, when it says, Who have believed our report? That's referring to the prophets. Okay, the prophets go out there and prophesy concerning Yahweh Shai. And not many people believe, but the elect believe, right? The scriptures mention that in uh, Romans 11 and 7, right? Romans 11 and 7, it says, What then Israel have obtaineth not that which he seeketh for, but the election have obtained it, and the rest were blinded. Okay, so Israel have not obtained that which he seeketh for, which is this truth, all right? Which is salvation, but the election of Israel have obtained it, right? And then it says, and the rest were blinded. So the rest are blinded, right? And the elect is the remnant. So it's telling you right there. See, so this is why, again, you know, we have uh, our people, they don't acknowledge this truth. Okay? They don't acknowledge the truth. So the prophets, they go out there and prophesy concerning Yahawashai, and not many people uh, believe, but the elect believe. Okay, and then when it says, and to whom is the arm of the Lord revealed, that's referring to Yahweh Shai. And we're going to get that out right now. Actually, that that arm of the Lord is Yahweh Shai. So let's get that Romans 10 and we start at verse 16. Romans 10 and 16. And it says, but they have not all obeyed the gospel for as saith the Lord. Who have believed our report. Remember we just went into that. Verse 17 it says. It says so then faith cometh by hearing. And hearing by the word of the Lord. Verse 18. And it says but I say have they not heard. Yes verily their sound went into all the earth. And their words unto the ends of the world. So this truth is being pushed out. Yet our people is still not believing. Okay and how is this truth being pushed out through the internet but i got a precept to validate that matthew 24 14 in this gospel which is this truth right that's the gospel and this gospel of the kingdom shall be preached in all the world for witness unto all nations and then shall the end come okay so how is this truth being pushed how is it being pushed out through the internet that's how the word is being pushed out so the prophets they they prophesy okay they they uh bring out that gospel okay romans 10 and uh I'll read that again verse 17 verse 18 it says but i say have they not heard yet verily their sound went into all uh, their sound went into all the earth and their words unto the ends of the world so there you go this truth is being pushed out and again, yet our people, they believe. They don't. They still not believe. Let's go back to that Isaiah. Just wanted to bring that out. Okay. So let's read that again. It says, and to whom is the arm of the Lord? So again, the arm of the Lord is Yahweh Shai. That's who that's representing. Yahweh Shai throughout the scriptures, all right, is called the arm of the Heavenly Father. Okay. So that's who that is uh, referring to. That's referring to Yahweh Shai. And we're going to prove that in, uh, also in Psalms 110. Okay. 
This is Psalms 110. It says, the Lord said unto my Lord. Okay, the Lord said unto my Lord, that Lord right there, my Lord. That's talking about Yahweh Shai. It says, sit thou at my right hand until I make thy enemies thy footstool. It says, the Lord shall send the rod of thy strength out of Zion. Rule thou in the midst of thine enemies. Thy people shall be willing in the day of thy power and the beauties of holiness from the wound of the morning. Thou hast due of thy youth. Verse 4, it says, So the Lord hath sworn and will not repent. Thou art a priest forever after the order of Melchizedek. Okay, so the Lord said unto my Lord, when you read in verse 1, right? Which is Yahawashai. And then the scripture said, uh, Sit thou at my right hand until I have make thy enemies thy footstool. So Yahawashai, again, throughout the scriptures, he's spoken of as being the right hand or the right arm of the Heavenly Father. All right. And he is that high priest, right, that the Most High have ordained as the order of Melchizedek, being that eternal high priest that cannot perish. Okay. So that's this is all talking about Yahawashai here. Verse 5, it says, The Lord at thy right hand shall strike through kings in the day of his wrath. So that goes into Yahawashai being that right hand. Okay, so we can prove that. That right arm there, Matthew 1 and 10 shows that. Yahawashai is that right, hand, that right hand, which is that right arm of the Heavenly Father there. So let's go back to here again. So now we know. Verse 1, I'll read all the way down to verse 2. But verse 1, Isaiah 53 and 1, it says, Who have believed our report? That's referring to the prophets, right? And it says, Into whom is the right arm of the Heavenly Father? It says, Who? It's so like it. It says, Into whom is the right arm of the Lord revealed? That's talking about Yahweh Shai. He's the right hand of the Heavenly Father. Okay? That's who that's referring to. Verse 2, it says, For he shall grow up before him as a tender plant and as a root out of a dry ground and he have no form nor calmless calmless and when we shall see him there is no beauty that we should desire him you see that because Yahweh Shai he was not desired okay the Lord wasn't a person that was desired Yahweh Shai was despised and rejected okay he was despised and he was rejected and it says as a root out of a dry ground that dry ground is the nation of Israel. That's talking about the nation of Israel there. Yahweh Shai was rejected. So let's go to verse 3. Okay. And it says, he is despised and rejected of men. You see that? So Yahweh Shai was not desired at that time. He was despised and rejected of men. A man of sorrows, acquainted with grief. And he hid as it were our faces from him. He was despised and we esteemed him not. So it says he is despised and rejected of men. See, so Yahweh Shai, again, he was not desired. And then it says a man of sorrows, right, and acquainted with grief. Okay, so Yahweh Shai was catching hell. And us coming in the stead of Yahweh Shai, we're going to catch hell too. That word grief goes into the Hebrew H2482. It means sickness. Okay, it means sickness. And it says, and we hid as it were our faces from him. He was despised and we esteemed him not. Okay. So the majority of the nation of Israel did not accept Yahweh Shai. They looked down upon him. They rejected him. Verse 4. And it says, surely he hath borne our griefs and carried our sorrows. Yet we did esteem him stricken, smitten of the Most High and afflicted. And it says in verse 5, but we, it says, but he was wounded for our transgressions. He was bruised for our iniquities. The chastisement of our peace was upon him. And with his stripes, we are sin. I mean, we are healed. Salakia. And with his stripes, we are healed. Salakia. And I got a precept for that too. Matthew. Matthew um, 8, 8 and 14. It's Matthew 8 and 14, and it says, And when Yahushai was coming to Peter's house, he saw he was, it's like a, and when, P, and when Yahushai was coming to Peter's house, he saw his wife's mother laid and sick of a fever, and he touched her hand, and the fever left her, and she arose and ministered unto them. Verse 16, 
It says, when the even was come, they brought unto him many that were possessed with devils. And he cast out the spirits with his word and healed all that were sick. Verse 17, that it might be that it might be fulfilled, which was spoken by Esaias the prophet, saying himself took our infirmities and bear our sicknesses. You see that? So when it says surely borne our griefs, it's meaning that he had borne our sicknesses, borne our plagues. All right, he held many people that were possessed by devils that had all manner of diseases, you know, to give healing to Israel. Because that's what the Lord Yahushai did. That's what he did for his people. That's what he did for the Israelites. Okay, so he he borne our uh, our sicknesses. He borne our plagues. He borne our sicknesses, right? This is uh, Hebrews 7 and 26. It says, for such an high priest became us who is holy, har harmless, undefiled, separate from sinners, and made higher than the heavens. This is talking about Yahweh Shai. Verse 27, it says, it says, who needeth not daily those, it says, as those high priests to offer up a sacrifice first for his own sins, then, it says, and then for the people's. For this he, so like it says, for this he did once when he offered up himself. You see that? When he offered up himself. So Yahweh Shai, he offered up himself for all of our sins. So when we be in chastised for our sins, we be going through it. But Yahweh Shai, imagine, he took on all of our sins and bared them. So even though Yahweh Shai was afflicted, he was receiving, which is afflicted, which is that bruising. He was bruised, right? We're going to uh, receive those same bruisings being in the stead of Yahweh Shai. But just imagine, Yahweh Shai, even though he went through all of that, even though he was chastised, I mean, you know, even though he was chastised, he went through a lot, he still bared our iniquities, okay? He took on all of our sins and bared them. He bared our sins. That's powerful, man. I don't think no Jake can be able to bear everyone else's uh, uh, sins. You know? This is uh, Isaiah 53 and 5. It says, but he was wounded for our transgressions. He was bruised for our iniquities. You see that? The chastisement of peace was upon him. And with his stripes, we are healed. So Yahweh Shai, he went through a lot. He suffered for us, right? First Peter 2 and 21. It says, For even hereunto were ye called, because Yahweh Shai also suffered for us. You see that? He suffered for us. It says, Leaving us an example that ye should follow his steps. Verse 22. And it says, Who did no sin, neither was guile found in his mouth. Verse 23. It says, Who, when he was revealed, received not again, when he suffered... He, threat, he threatened not, even though he suffered, he threatened not, but committed himself to him that judgeth righteously. Verse, that's powerful. Verse 24, Salakia. Verse 24, it says, who, it says, who his own self bear our sins in his own body on the tree that we being dead to sin should live unto righteousness by whose stripes Ye were healed. Verse 25. For for ye were as sheep going astray, but are now returned unto the shepherd and bishop of your souls. Okay. And the people Peter was talking to were the Israelites. That lets you know who he died for. He died for the Israelites. Peter was talking to the Israelites, man. Okay. Isaiah 53. And uh, verse six, it says, all all we like sheep have gone astray. We have turned everyone to his own way. And the Lord have laid on him the iniquity of us all. Verse seven, it says he was oppressed and he was afflicted. Yet he opened not his mouth. He is brought as a lamb to the slaughter and as a sheep before her shears is dumb. So he opened 
not his mouth. Because Yahweh Shai was obedient unto death. Even though Yahweh Shai was being a sacrifice, he was bearing our sins on the cross. You know, being beaten. He didn't buck up against the Heavenly Father. You know, he was uh, in complete submission. He didn't buck up against the Heavenly Father. Romans 5 and 1. And it says, therefore, being justified by faith, we have peace with Yahweh through our Lord Yahweh Shai. So we have peace through Yahweh Shai. Long as we maintain the faith, we continue to believe and we continue to endure. We have peace with the Heavenly Father through Yahweh Shai. Why? Because the chastisement of our peace was upon him by his stripes. We are healed, right? The scriptures mention that, that we just read. Okay, let's go back to Isaiah 53 and 7. It says, he was oppressed and he was afflicted. Yet he opened not his mouth. He is brought as a lamb to the slaughter. And as a sheep before her shears is dumb. So he opened not his mouth. So there you go. Yahweh Shai. He bared our, um, our sicknesses. He bared our sins. Okay. He bared our iniquities. Our transgressions. So I'm going to stop there. Okay. Lord willing. This lesson is edifying. I'll do another part later. I want to give all honors and glories and praise to Yahweh by Shema Shai by Shema Kakodash. And Lord willing, this lesson is edifying. Until next time I say, Shalom.